Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and I'm really excited to be showing you around the Nugget. So the Nugget is based on the Ford and it's a camper van that Ford actually produce and it's made by Westphalia for them so they are in partnership. Nugget is the right name for it because it's a little golden Nugget and I can't believe that something can be as beautiful as what this is. I would have one of these in a heartbeat. So it's based on the Ford. Um, to the front we can see that it's got parking sensors here. So you're not going to clip it when you go into a car park, it's going to let you know. It's got the standard Ford alloy wheels. As we look up, we can see this side, it's got the wind out canopy. So that provides plenty of seating space underneath there. Um, both sides, it's got opening doors. As we go to the back, we can see there as well that it's got reversing sensors and it's got the up and over door. as well that gives us a void of space inside and you can actually buy an awning to go on the back as well so it gives you even more room. As we come down this side here we can see that we've got the point where you plug into the mains electricity and here where we'd fill the water so it has an onboard water tank as well. It's got the pop top roof, the pop top opens the opposite way around to most campers because the kitchen's at the back and you need the standing space. Here as well We've got an additional awning rail as well. So you've not only got the canopy for sitting out, you can actually put a driveway awning on this side. As we look in here, we can see that it's diesel and add blue. So let's take a look inside. You can tell I like this one because I'm ready to drive it away. So the driving position in this is just like driving your car. The steering wheel feels like your car as well. Um, all the comforts for this time of year. We've got a heated front windscreen, no more de-icing, <laughs> scraping. You haven't got to worry when you're driving because you've got a driver's seat and a passenger seat that are both heated. Both of these seats swivel as well, so that's a really, really good thing. As we can see, it's got the Ford automatic gearbox, and there's no shortage of USBs in here, right the way through, and 12 volt sockets. It's got a superb head unit there as well. Um, so we've got that to play music. We best switch it off because um, we don't want to get in trouble. It's got the cab air con. Um, so obviously all your controls here are easy to use. Rear heated window and obviously front window. And then as we look back, we've got the sensors that will show you when you are in reverse. They'll beep so you can see obviously where you're parking. And now I've got to uh, stop this thing beeping. We've got some visors here and just up here we've got the control as well. A nice feature is we've got the lockable glove box. So that has got a lock on it so if you wanted to make things nice and secure it's not an issue at, at all. Um, electric mirrors as well so you can obviously sit here and get the most comfortable um, view for driving along. So I think we need to go and look at the more exciting bits Wendy because this is nice but it gets better back there. So this is just comfortable overload. So Wendy and I have set the seats now into um, the living position. So we've got to our destination, we've turned the seats around and it makes a really, really comfortable lounge. This vehicle will sleep four people, but travel five. The two seats, outer two seats are Isofix, the inner seat isn't. So you no worries about your baby seats. Um, the children can travel very safe in here so you haven't got to buy the non-adapted seats. Um, so underneath here we've got storage. As you can see the silver screens for this are in here um, and you've got lots of little hidey spaces for your walking boots and your yeah. duvets and things. Mind when if I was on site my duvet would be upstairs. So this makes in a bed. Wendy and myself are going to demonstrate that to you later. But in here we've got a control panel. So this control panel um, is where you control the diesel heating um, and it will tell you as you scroll along your water tank and your waste tanks. Um, so there you'll be able to tell whether you've got water on board or not and you can drain your water tanks um, and everything there is what you need to know for the heating and for the water system. 
The hot water is slightly different. Um, we heat that on your mains electricity, so you've got to be plugged into the mains to get the water hot. And that's the button there to switch the heat, water heater on. However, if you're on site and there was a power cut or you were to lose 230 volt, the 12 volt system on this will keep the water warm. Won't heat it, but it will keep it warm. So, two doors, which I think are absolutely brilliant. And the two doors are an asset when you're making the bed. Um, we've got lighting on and off. Um, and it's not got a sh shortage of lighting either. And you've also got the paddle lights as well. So as we come around this side here, again, we've got privacy glass, good storage. And as we move down the bus, again, nice storage throughout. We've got a super kitchen. And as you can see, this is why this lifts up higher at the back. You wouldn't think you're in a camper van with this space. So we've got cold water and we've got hot water. To fill your hot water system, you turn it from cold to hot and then that lets this thing know that you want hot water. You get the air out. Like any camper, um, we have to draw all the air out of the system to be able to heat the hot water. Tidy little splash back there with nice work surface space and we've got two gas rings. Main socket and a 12 volt socket as well. And as we move down here, you can see that the fridge is a fridge box. So Wendy, we've not got to worry about bottles of wine on the side. You and I will be okay because they can stand up right in there. We have got the wine cooler. We've got the step ladders here that will aid you to get into the bed at the top. We are going to do part two for the beds. Um, we might have to show you the features of this door externally, um, but you can see here we've got another tap. Where that tap is, we connect the external shower onto there and when the doors are open it's perfect from washing your boots down or anything that's a little bit muddy that you don't want to bring dirt into your camper and then down here again we've got more storage yeah and um, there's a little table that goes and sits in the front so if you're going to use and dine there you've got a table which works there and in the back door here we can see there's another table so with actually the nuggets really well thought of on storage mm -hmm. um, storage here so it comes with two chairs um, and they just unhook here and the pull off the table legs stored here as well and the net for the bunk at the top is also there so if you've got little ones that are going to be sleeping at the top um, you may want to put the net there so nobody goes out with a big bump in the middle of the night yeah. so sat quite aptly in the right place because underneath here <laughs> is the loo the loo sits up like so. So you've got your cassette toilet there as well, yeah. which again is brilliant because if there are four of you sleeping in here and anybody wants to use a loo at night, it's out of the way. So nobody's going to get disturbed by anybody brushing past. Inside here is a perfect little store. Let me put the loo seat down. Perfect for your loo rolls, your towels, all your little yeah. bits and bobs that you need to go into there, which are going to be bathroom bathroom bits as I would call yeah. them so as you can see this space is absolutely amazing yep. so the pop top opens up and each side has got your netted windows and at the back here you've got the mesh window yeah. um, when they wind down we can lock them too as well so everything's nice and private I would do that for you but I'm not tall enough so I need to stand on something to do that we'll show you all the, all the light coming in in part two this here again is a lovely little privacy screen. This pulls across like so and locks into place. So if you were going to go and spend a penny, you're not there for all to see. <laughs> and close that back like so. So Wendy and I will be back and we'll have all the beds in place so you can see the nighttime space in this vehicle. So as you can see, this makes it into a double bed. So you've got a double bed down here and a double bed upstairs. Um, it's really, really soft and comfortable. Um, I wouldn't struggle to have a good night's sleep on here. I think it's absolutely excellent. It's really easy. It just slides in and out to make the bed. Whilst we're here though, I'd like to show you this here is your hot water tank. Um, so as we know, it heats on electric. We've already covered that. And here is a switch that switches it on and off. One side's 12 volt one size mains. Your fuse switches are here as well and there's gas isolation there too. 
fantastic. So here you can see as well, we've got an additional bed. Um, I've shown you down there, we've got the net if there's little ones up there, um, but this bed is bigger than the bed downstairs. And I want to say, for saying it's a very thin mattress, this mattress is so comfortable. Um, as you see beneath here, it's got the plastic springs as well, which all aid for a good night's sleep. You've got net window, so if you get a little bit hot in the night, you've got ventilation coming through. There's a ventilation strip there as well at the back to keep all the mosquitoes out. Yeah. But this bed, it's really nice one. If you need a nap later, yeah. I won't say where you are. <laughs> so joking apart, my composure getting up there was a lot better than my composure coming down. Um, be careful when you come out of the bed from up there, you actually don't end up in the sink. Um, so, this is well worth coming to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom to have a look at. It is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe that you can get all of this in a van. So come over to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. I think you need to ask me, because I've demonstrated all the beds for you, to show you around this. Um, and it is absolutely amazing. So come and see me. My name's Claire. I want to say I'm going to be the queen of the nugget. Um, Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. It's, you've got to come. See you all soon on site. So now, one final part is to show you how this roof comes down. So you press a little red button in there, pull the handle at the back. I'm five foot four, and I'm finding it really easy. We just need, Wendy's got stuck. <laughs> when you do demonstrate this, and you make sure you've not got somebody filming you, um, and then we can pull all this in like so making sure she doesn't trap where oh, the catch is. So as you can see, move the light out of the way, the bed is pulled down nice and easily and catches into place. I need to be a bit stronger, but we've done it. Yeah. There we go. So come <laughs> and see me. My name's Claire, Don Amot Leisure Kingdom, the Queen of the Nugget.